everyone, how's it going? In this video, I want to show you how to create this technique you're seeing right now. Having an iframe inside of a monitor or laptop model using 2JS, React Fiber, and Dre. I discovered this technique from a portfolio website. And I wanted to learn how to recreate it myself and then teach you guys how to do it as well. So that's what I've done. This is what this video is for. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off in my Rack 3 Fiber and Dre boilerplate code. And you can go ahead and download that from the GitHub repository. Link will be in the description. Head into the project, npm install and npm run dev. And inside the index HTML, we've got our index.jsx module. In here, we're linking to some CSS, including React DOM, React 3 Fiber, and our component code, so the laptop, which we're going to be making. And we're going to have a canvas, 45 FOV, NIV value, far value, position. And our laptop, that's important as well if you want to see what you're writing uh, to appear. So we're going to head into the laptop component and I'm exporting it and let's go ahead and start off with importing our model. So I'm going to write const computer, actually let's call it laptop, laptop uh, is use gltf and let's pass a URL. So for my model, I'm going to head over to PMNDRS market and grab this MacBook model and copy the direct link. So I'm going to paste that. We can then return. And let's add an environment. For the preset, I'm going to use the warehouse preset because I like how the lighting is in it. And let's add our laptop. So primitive object laptop.scene oops laptop dot scene close that off head over to localhost we've got our laptop and we've got some some warehouse lights let's position it on the y and bring it down a bit let's try that it's a bit much, minus 1.2, that's great. Uh, at the moment it's static, we can't really, it's not moving, it's not doing anything, it's just loading the object and the warehouse uh, environment map. Um, so let's change that up. Let's wrap our primitive object inside some presentation controls. This is coming from, uh, from Dre and Let's go and see how that looks. Presentation controls. Okay, so yeah, so now we can spin our model. There we go, that's nice. Um, yeah, so if you if you want to limit it, you could add uh, some, some rotation. Uh, you can even add some polar and azimuth uh, parameters, which we're gonna be doing just in a sec. But as you can see, if I click outside the laptop, we can't uh, rotate it. Um, so if you pass global, you should be able to rotate it all over the screen now. So that's good. And you can add polar. So this is going to sort of um, block it on the on the vertical axis. So you can't do stuff like this um, or as far. So let's try that out. There you go. I can't sort of rotate it up and down as much. And if you want the same, um, the same effect, sort of dragging it left and right, you can add azimuth with the same values and that sort of locks it in place as well. So that's not bad, uh, you know, a few lines of code, we've already got that up. That's pretty good going. 
let's um, go ahead and start adding our, our actual website inside it. So I'm going to open up this primitive. I'm going to include the HTML component and inside my HTML an iframe and this is going to link to your portfolio website. I'm just going to link it to one of my websites. There we go. And there's a problem. HTML is not defined. And okay, so I think the auto import didn't work. There we go. Okay, so there is my website. Um, yeah, it's uh, stuck in the middle of the page and it's very small. So let's go ahead and try and try and figure this out. So inside of our CSS, which is included uh, in the index.jsx, don't forget to change that if you change the, the file name. Um, we are going to add some CSS. So I get a cooler class laptop and then target the iframe. So uh, let me just double check where you add it. So, okay, so on the HTML component, it's called wrapper class and let's call it laptop and laptop. Inside of here, we can set the width and the height of our iframe. Let's go ahead and do that. So, has that worked out? Okay, so we've got a bigger website. However, it's not very well positioned. So, this is where you have to then change the position attributes of the actual HTML. So position, and you'll have to play around uh, with these values depending on your project. So let's do that, X, Y, Z. And let's do transform. So that it's, oh my gosh, so it's actually um, transforming with the laptop model. Um, let's see what else we can do. Okay, uh, uh, okay, so uh, one thing I forgot was to add the distance factor. And this is important to stop having it blow up in our faces. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's better. Lovely. And yeah, I can see some white bordering down there, uh, but I can still scroll. So this could be usable in your project if you like. Um, but if you want rounded borders, let's go ahead and add border none, border radius, let's do 20 PX. Got rounded borders, that's pretty good. Um, okay, let's just maybe 75. No, 70. Just playing around with the, uh, the position. So it's very small values you need to, need to be using. 57, got a bit more of a bezel down there. It's looking pretty good. And yeah, that's the, really the um, the most of it. You can customize this further. Um, as I showed in the intro, this is the portfolio website. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so yeah, as you see, as you can zoom in, as you hover over the screen, so that's pretty cool. And then um, it's this sort of Windows 98 uh, theme to it, which I think is pretty awesome. You can find React libraries or CSS libraries to, to achieve this. Um, so if you want to go that direction, he's also got some smudging on the screen, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, but this is the uh, sort of the basic building block of it. And uh, you can take it a lot further, as you saw with the, the portfolio. Um, so yeah, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more 3GS builds coming out soon. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.